Well, hi. Welcome to Guitar Zone. This is lesson number 18 of 53, beginning guitar lesson. Well, hey, well, this is what we call a resonator guitar. I got this guitar somewhere back in, I don't know, it's from the 60s, uh, probably mid-60s. It's called a Regal, and uh, the Regal was made in San Francisco, and this one I happened to get like at a, a pawn shop or a music store, and I think it back in the 70s or 80s it cost me probably 100 bucks or something. It's probably worth a lot more than that, but the cool thing about it, it's, it's traditionally a blues guitar or country guitar because of the banjo resonator that gives us, gives us this. It gives us this different sound. So if you can hear that, It's great, a uh, lot of finger picking music you'll hear. So it's got that, it's got that, uh, that pie pan. Some people call it a pie pan. It's got that tone, okay? Anyways, what I wanted to do today was I wanted to go over the chords, more open first position chords. We did the open first position chords, the first sheet. I just wanted to go through briefly more open first position chords. When you look at that sheet, and you'll have it on your Patreon site. You can find it, or I'll put it in the video here somewhere. But you got your A minor seven now. So before we've got an A chord that we learned, we got an A minor chord, which we've been doing for a while. And if you drop off your third finger, we've got a minor seven. We have an A, an A minor, we have an A seven, and we have an A minor seven. So now you have four types of A chords. With D chords, we now have a D major seven. You learned your D chord, which was really like a triangular shape. You want to get the one and two as close to the fret as possible, third finger hugging the frets. You got your four note D chord, and you got your same, your D7, and your D minor you learned a long time ago now. And now you've got a D major seven. Very pretty chord. Four note chords. D, D major seven, D, D major seven, D seven, D minor. Now we've got the G chord. Remember we talked about, we first learned a G chord, two, one, and third finger. And then you learned a G7, and you learned that if you have G7 like three, two, you could use your fourth finger here, and you have an alternative way of playing a G chord. Another alternative fingering, or alternate fingering. Now we add the D. That's one of my favorite chords. I love that G chord with a D in it. Two, one, open, open, third finger D, fourth finger G. So you can see that's like a movable pattern, right? Your E, we learned an E. You know your E minor, your E, and 
an E7, now we're learning another E7. You got your full E chord, add your baby finger on the D, and you got that lovely rockabilly E7. Great chord, wonderful chord, used a lot in rock and roll and blues and everything. E7, A minor, back to that A minor 7. Well, if we put down the A minor chord, we had the G that made it the minor 7. Now we can add another G on the top, and you can even see by the color coding, if you start to look at the intervals, you'll see where the 7s are. You'll see where the roots are, where the 5s and the 3s are. And maybe you'll start making sense of that, and we'll be talking more about that in the future. But now we have A minor 7, and we have another A minor 7 that gives, puts the 7 on the top, gives us that nice high pitch up there. Now your D chord. Wow, not enough D chords. You got D, you got major 7, D7, D minor. Now we've got D sus, S-U-S, D suspended 4th. You hear this a lot in early rock and roll. So I've got my D chord. I add my baby finger on the G. Major seven, D, D suspended fourth. Very, very cool chord. You learned your A chord, but now we've got a bar. Bar four strings, add the second finger. And now you have the A7 with the seven on the top. Five string A7, very rock and roll blues chord. Even rockabilly like the E. E7. E7. A7, B7. Nice combination of chords. E7, A7, E7, B7. There your B7. Now you got this great A shuffle. There's your A7. Sometimes we put that baby finger up on the high A that gives us another A chord. But A7, so you got a bar out of our four string. And just so you know, if you were to play just that, the bar four string, that would be what we call an A6. F sharp here would give us the six. A6, A7, A. Put the third finger here, and you got a major seven. Well, now I'm getting carried away. Okay. E minor. Remember you did an E7? Well, if you take off the first finger, you've got E minor 7. Six strings, beautiful chord. E minor, add the D with the fourth finger on the third fret. And you got the E minor 7. B sus 4. So your B7, if you take off the fourth finger, Then we, we've got open B and E. That's what we call a B sus. Sus means suspended. And we'll talk about what is suspended in later lessons. B sus four. Finally, we have the big C chord. This is what I call big mama. Yep, your old C chord was a great chord, but now we put that third finger on G, fourth finger on the C, and the other finger is still the same, E and C. E with the second finger, C with the first chord. With the notes G, C, E, G, open G, C, and E. That's what I call Big Mama. It's a really nice big sound. Really, really nice and mellow. Okay, so now A, Back to our A chord. If I was to take that A chord, like I you learned it, second, third, fourth finger, and I took the fourth finger and moved it up to the D note, 
that gives me a sus, a sus4. So we've learned a couple sus4s. You've learned a D sus4 and a B sus4. Here's your A sus4. B7, and now your A, sus, sus4, all right, now we go to D, you got the sus, you got the major 7, you got the D7, you got the D minor, and now we've got D minor 7, remember when you barred for the little F chord, well if you play just three notes, you got the C and F, add the A, and now play the open D. This would be what we call a D minor seven. So you have D minor, now you have D minor seven. So this is, I would call a bar chord because you're barring two strings. C, F, and A. D minor seven. Keeping those two fingers there, and adding your G chord fingers, your third finger and second finger, gives you G sus4. So remember you learned G7. If you bar the first finger now, you get the sus. Here's a G chord, remember with the fourth finger version. Here's G sus, and here's G7. G7 is just the F, but if we bar, the G sus. E7. Well, you did a you did this version of E7. You did an E minor 7. Now we're giving you another version of E7, and this would be just taking off the third finger. So you've got open E, B, open D, G sharp with the first finger, fourth finger on the D, and open E. That's another E7. Back to your C chord. If you were to take off your first finger, that's what we call C major seven. Major sevens are very smooth, very pretty chords. I call it a healing chord. Now, if you were to take that new chord you learned, C major seven, and take off that first finger, you get that great big Big Mama healing chord. See? You'll hear the bands like the Eagles, country bands and folkish bands use that major seven, even in jazz. But I kind of, it kind of makes me think of uh, sitting on that beautiful sunset beach, you know, with the ocean breaking in. So you got an open B now, and you put the C down and you've got the C chord. Take the C off of the first finger and you've got the major seven. Finally, you've got an F major seven. Remember you learned that little F chord. I told you that was really important, movable little F chord. And you got your first finger barred. Well now we're not gonna bar the first finger. You're just gonna play C, A, and F. And you're gonna have an open E on the top. And that gives us an F major seven. We've got C major seven. And now we've got F major seven. F major seven. Four notes. F, A, C, face. <laughs> face with an E on it. F, A, C, E spells face. There is your F major seven, easy, your face chord. All right, yay, face. Face the music. And then your C major seven, your healing chord. You got D major seven, healing chord. Yeah, so you got a couple healing chords and you got some sus chords. Okay, that's enough for this lesson. Chord lesson, keep your reviews going. And just hang in there, keep working, keep practicing, learning how to practice better every, every week, every day.